food. All right, first up this morning, the Brewers are celebrating a huge milestone birthday, 50 years. Our next guest has been writing about the club since the 1985 season. That's right. Tom Hodgecor began covering the Brewers for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel in 1985 in that season. And he's a four time Wisconsin sports writer of the year award winner. And he's written five books on the Brewers. So including this latest one, which is called Turning 50, the Brewers celebrate a half century in Milwaukee. We're so excited to have Tom here today. Good morning to you. Hey, Tom. Hey, ladies. How you doing? doing We're doing okay. great, you know. I think so many people are so excited that the Brewers are actually going to play. But before we get to that, because we want to get some of your thoughts on it, what has it been like for you to cover the Brewers for, what, 35 of the 50 years that they've been playing here? It's kind of scary, right? I'm sure they're tired of me by now. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot. You know, I, 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 the thing that sticks out the most was the transition from County Stadium to Miller Park and just uh, how uh, life altering that's been for everybody. You know, we, we we figured the roof at Miller Park was gonna be a game changer, but I don't think any of us realized how much of a game changer to just always have creature comforts, you know, for the home games, no more rain delays, no more. You know, I covered an opening day once at County Stadium, which the wind chill was minus 16. Ooh. Wow, that that's unbelievable. But that's Milwaukee for you, I guess. I think you know what's <laughs> what's sad for a lot of fans is thinking about this huge birthday, this big milestone, and then knowing that the club is going to be playing without fans in the stands. I know. Yeah, you know, you there's many teams that are missing important things this year. Oh, the Texas Rangers are still waiting to open a brand new ballpark. Can you imagine that? And and then maybe no fans in it. But this was going to be a huge year for the Brewers. They were going to have an ongoing 50th anniversary celebration, bringing in players from the past, you know, bobbleheads, um, different things throughout the season. And this and they had big plans for this year, and then totally shut down by COVID. You know, the, for the longest time, it looked like there would be no season. Now um, they're going to get back together. First spring training ever at Miller Park, and it's actually being called summer camp now because of uh, <laughs> how it's starting. And then a 60-game season that's going to be kind of a sprint to the playoffs. And we're just hoping everybody stays well and that the virus doesn't shut them down at any point. All sports are nervous about that baseball in particular, we're all going to be wearing masks and social distancing and Zooming. You know, we're all Zooming through life now. Um, but that's just the way it is. And I think it was important that baseball tried to play, at least try to play. Let's see what happens. With the Brewers, what a what a way to celebrate their 50th anniversary with just a shutdown season until now and no fans. So you have to wonder if a lot of this will just get postponed for them to next year. But this is certainly not the way anybody envisioned this being. I I agree. I think it's so sad, but I am glad, like you said, that they're playing. I think everybody is. I mean, I love baseball, and it's exciting that they're going to do something, you know, during this time. And like you said, hopefully they continue. Talk a little bit about the book, too, and, you know, because you separated a lot of the interviews, right, with players from each of the five decades. So how did you decide who those players were going to be? And, and just a little bit about what we'd read inside the book. Yeah, so, so let me, you know, j just in full transparency, this is a Journal Sentinel book. This is actually my first collaboration with my own newspaper, you know, and my other <laughs> books have not been. But, but that's because this is a photo book, a commemorative keepsake photo book uh, primarily. And by uh, doing a, uh, a project with my own newspaper, the Journal Sentinel, it gave us access to their vast video archives, their vast photo archives, I should say. And so the photos in there are tremendous. We mm. have a picture of 11-year-old Craig Council in his little league uniform with uh, Deion James and and Raleigh Fingers, I think. And so, um, I mean, this guy grew up to be the manager later. And so uh, oh. the, the photos are fantastic. I did do interviews with uh, one player from each decade, uh, Ken Sanders from the 70s, uh, Jim Gantner from the 80s, uh, Jeff Cirillo from the 90s, uh, J.J. Hardy from the 2000 aughts and then Ryan Braun from the 2010s. So uh, it's a history of the team. It's some up-to-date interviews with people, but it's but it's just a beautiful photo book. And I think people are really like the photos. There's some classics in there. 
They look so cool, and I think people love reliving those memories. I got to ask you, Tom, is it true that you live just a few blocks from Bud Selig and that you guys do walks and you talk about baseball and the weather and whatever else comes up? That's true. It shows you how eclectic the, vi the village of Bayside is that I could live near Bud Selig because my house <laughs> sort of looks like his garage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, he has the Versailles of Bayside. He has a, a, a very nice house and then gardens all around it. And so, yes, we try to walk uh, on the weekends if we can on um, during a normal baseball season. Obviously, travel and stuff would, uh, you know, separate us at the times, but I still try to do it. And he's still a huge fan and he's more excited than anybody that, you know, they're going to try to play some games this year. He, he was a fan first and then the Brewers owner and then the baseball commissioner. And now he's back to being a fan again. So, uh, yeah, that's, I have a unique relationship we, with each other. We've known each other a long time. I had, like when I first knew Bud, I was young and I had hair. <laughs> <laughs> I love this book, Tom. I love all the photographs. Glad that you teamed up with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel yeah. to put this together. Thank you so much for joining us today. And Thanks. I hope baseball happens and everybody is safe. Thanks. I want to show you ladies something. So I have the perfect hat I'm going to wear out there this year. It's my COVID hat. Look. A baseball wearing a mask. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't quite tell what that was. You got to be safe. That is fantastic. What a, what a great COVID hat, huh? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thank you so much, Tom. Thanks, ladies. You guys stay safe and stay well. Thank you. I uh, really appreciate you having me on. Same with you. Join sure. us again anytime. And Tom's book again is Turning 50. The Brewers celebrate a half century in Milwaukee, and you can pick up a copy just about everywhere books are sold, including Boswell Books, Pick and Save, Myers, and many more.